I think personally, and I've written a book on this, I think HCG is going to be a chapter that we look back on and go, fuck, what were we thinking then? Personally, that's what mm. I think. So the, if these things worked and, what, and they were what they say they are, they'd be great. The problem is they're not. So when we look at HCG, HCG is a female pregnancy hormone. Yep. Um, it, is, it, it doubles roughly every 24 hours when a woman first falls pregnant. And it's really important. If a woman gets pregnant, she's now taking her, you know, daily caloric expenditure of, you know, doing woman stuff. <laughs> and then now she's also growing a fetus inside her. Like mm -hmm. that's going to be a lot of energy being used, but also her life is now really valuable because that's going to be the, the life that's going to continue on the human race. So HCG does a amazing amount of things for female health in terms of Otherwise, if they didn't get that increase in HCG, which stimulates something called cyclic AMP as well as the thyroid, they'd just be in bed all day when they were pregnant. They'd just be snoozing because their body would just be using so much energy to make this kid. So it upregulates a bunch of really important metabolic processes. And I also think it makes them hypervigilant because it keeps them alive. So there's a reason why when the human female is pregnant, she makes HCG instead of luteinizing hormone because it does different things. Otherwise, she'd just make more LH. So now we have the question of going, okay, well, let's take this female pregnancy hormone and inject it into a man. What's going to happen? And it's like, I know that all this like gender confused stuff is all the rage at the moment. Um, I, I live in a country that's not politically correct, so I can say that. But this, this is a really interesting thing because what we, what we do when we take HCG and put it into a male body, we know what it does in the testicles. It stimulates the lady cells in the testicles to make them produce hormones just like luteinizing hormone does. What does it do in the brain? What does it do in the spine? What does it do in all the other peripheral tissues in the body? We don't have a fucking clue. 